Well, in case you missed it earlier today, uh, second day of hurricane season, we did get our first named storm of the season, Tropical Storm Arlene down here in the Gulf now. You can see that convection there uh, off the coast of Florida. And uh, this was Tropical Depression 2 yesterday. Uh, did reach Tropical Storm status. Currently has winds of 40 miles per hour. Picked up a little forward momentum at 7 miles per hour. It was only about 2 yesterday. So you can see that historical track. It's been kind of looping around. Now it's headed to the south. And a uh, forecast track... Uh, uh, pretty short here is uh, going to be expected to weekend. Some drier, some shear it's dealing with, so not a great environment. And uh, that is expected to be a remnant low by the time it moves towards Cuba this weekend. Of course, it'll be bringing some rain over that way. So uh, we can uh, check our lean off the list already. Brett will be the next one on the list. So uh, we'll see if and when uh, we get Brett, which... Uh, likely to happen here at some point uh, somewhere this season. Quiet here across the southeast. We've had that high pressure in place, uh, some drier as well. Uh, so we really just have not get, uh, had much in the way of uh, pop up showers and storms today. You can see that drier there uh, represented by that orange air, but uh, pretty busy across parts of Texas where they do have uh, severe storms firing up this evening. And some of that upper level energy going to be headed our way as we uh, head into the weekend, kind of breaking down that uh, uh, upper level ridge that's been in place. And that combined with that moisture should be enough to bring us uh, some scattered rain this weekend. And then uh, into next week, an overall weakness in the atmosphere with that ridge not quite as strong. Uh, so we should keep some daily rain chances in uh, slightly higher than our isolated rain chances we've had here recently. So tomorrow anywhere from 30 to 50 percent highest chances to the south and to the west there. Uh, but some definitely hit or miss rain uh, possibility tomorrow. Not everyone may see rain and uh, definitely doesn't mean rain all day. But at some point tomorrow, a lot of folks uh, will be looking at some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. And we're at that time of the year where it could be anything uh, from a trace to a quarter inch or a quarter inch to two inches as we get some of those summertime thunderstorms uh, dumping that brief heavy rain uh, and we could have some lightning and some gusty winds in those storms tomorrow as well. Uh, so looking at future cast, we do have sunshine there likely early on, but uh, afternoon we should start to get some storms firing up uh, likely to the west and uh, into the evening hours. We should see those storms persist, uh, but they're likely to wind down with that loss of daytime heating after sunset tomorrow. So certainly uh, could get a little noisy if you have outdoor plans, just keep an eye on things and if you hear that thunder. Uh, you want to go inside and uh, until the storm passes tonight, though, we've got upper 60s to around 70. So getting milder in the mornings and then low 90s here tomorrow afternoon, which is running a few degrees above average. Average is 89, uh, but uh, this is about what we can expect here as we head into June. So we might see a brief drop in dew points on Sunday, uh, but for the most part, we're going to be staying mainly at human levels here for the next week. And with that, we do have a slight heat index, not bad yet, but feeling uh, anywhere from two to three degrees warmer than that actual temperature. Best chance for rain during the afternoon and those winds tomorrow out of a northeasterly direction. And as you look at the extended forecast, uh, we do see more of the same Saturday and Sunday uh, looking pretty similar. And it looks like we'll continue that trend into Monday there with scattered storms and highs in the 90s. Same for Tuesday and into Wednesday. Could get back to more isolated rain chances during the later part of next week. Uh, but definitely starting to look more like that typical summertime pattern with the heat and the humidity returning. 90s and you know. The